Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Art La Carte. I have missed a couple of days in my November sharing, so let me just catch you up. Not just whether I drank coffee, tea, or had cereal in a cup, but with my actual November. In case you don't know what November is, it's a monthly challenge like Inktober, where you create a piece where the dominant color for that day is based on a hue or one color. Kind of think of it as a one marker challenge with other colors to complement it. My goal is when you look at the picture that you could tell which color is the main focus. Also, if you didn't know, and I'll talk a little bit more about this towards the end of the video, I went ahead and pre-drew up all 30 images that I'll need for Huevember. And the reason is because I wanted to share them with you if you wanted to do Huevember along with me, but didn't want to drop some pictures, you could get your own set. I'll leave a link in the description box of this video where you can go over to my Etsy shop. Once you purchase the set, you get all 30 images that you can print off any size you'd like and color them as many times as you'd like. I chose to print these off at half sheets, so I printed two on a page and then just cut the two pages in half. For most of the images, that works great for me, but there were a couple that the detail in the illustration was a little bit tiny, and I kind of wish I would have gone a little bit larger for that one. But generally speaking, I like the half sheet. For those of you who are interested in what colors I'm using, I went ahead and I'm doing all my pictures with Copic markers, so I chose out 30 Copic colors that I wanted to go. The first one was R14, the second one is R27, and the last two are R46 and RV19. If you wanna see a picture of all of the colors I'm going to be using throughout the month, you can head over to my Instagram, I posted that over there. A nice thing about having these images digitally is that you can print them out, as I said, as many times as you want. So if you make a mistake with coloring, it's easy to go back, fix that mistake up, and retry again. If you can't fix it, you can reprint it and just start over. But I was trying not to reprint anything. I wanna to try to fix those mistakes, or as Bob Ross would say, turn those little mistakes into happy accidents. One thing is trying things out in a lighter color first, because generally you can always cover things up with a darker color, especially if that darker color is going to be black or a very, very dark green or blue. It's easy to cover those up. So on this piece, I wanted to try my hand at drawing plaids. Not so good. One, it was really tiny and I didn't have a fine enough brush or a pin to use. And two, there is a lot of folds and curves in this dress. And when you're trying to learn something for the first time, that's not such a good idea. So there's my horrible mistake. I went ahead and covered that up with black and then played around with that. So this one, while I had great intentions for it, started to turn out really blah, but because I didn't give up on it and kept working, I think it's one of my favorite pieces that I've done. It has a really cool look to it. The, the dark black and red really complement each other. This one here, I wanted to play around with just a cozy look. This is totally something that I would wear. Actually, this one and the next one are two outfits that I would totally wear all the time. In fact, I think I actually have that outfit. Maybe not in that color, but I have that outfit. And this final one is just a cozy outfit that I don't have, but I would love to have it. It's super nice and cozy. And of course, the pop of cool color fuchsia hair, which is totally something that I would want to wear. 
Because I printed these off on actual sheets of paper and they're not in a sketchbook, I was trying to decide how I wanted to store them or to display them. And that's where I came up with an idea to take a cord and stretch it over the top of one of my walls. And then I used a tiny little clothespin and attached each of the pictures up there. And I'm really liking how this looks. I think it's going to be really fun to see the full 30 pieces. There's just 11 of them up right now and already I'm like, yeah, that's so fun. So if you're ever looking for a fun way to display your art without getting frames or nailing a ton of holes in the wall, just use some string and some little clothespins and it works great. So here is a closer look at all of the pictures that I have done so far. Some of them I like a little bit more than others. I'm curious to see if there is one that you like more than others. Let me know in the comment section below. So far, I think day number nine is my favorite piece. Mm, although I do like the fawn girl, she's pretty cute as well. And if you are coloring these along with me, I would love to see what you are creating. So make sure to tag me in your photos on social media. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're having a fabulous day. And as always, God bless you guys. Keep drawing and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.